Hello everyone, today I am going to create an image from installed windows as a template to deploy it from the network to other clients. With this method, you can easily deploy a customized version of windows with all applications to other clients. At the first step, we have to create a boot image to capture the installed windows from the clients to the WDS server. To create a capture image, open Windows Deployment Service. From the boot image, right click on Microsoft Setup Boot Image and select the Create a Capture Image. Then give a name to this boot image and give a location to export newly created capture image. When the image creation process is completed, you can select add an image to the Windows deployment server now to automatically add this captured boot image to the boot option list or you can add it later by adding your created boot image to WDS manually. Click on add image then click on finished. In this window, click on the next, give a name to this capture boot image, then click on the next. Again, click on the next, then finish. At this time, I am going to boot the client from the network and then select the capture image from the boot menu. But before doing that, we have to do one more task on the client's PC. If you want to create a Windows image to avoid any problem related to SID, before the image creation, you must have run sysprep on the Windows. Sysprep is used to clone the existing Windows installation across multiple PCs. Sysprep generalizes Windows by removing security identifiers and other computer-specific information. Because my client runs as a visual machine, I open the console session to the client. As you can see, I install Firefox and Google Chrome on this Windows. I am opening the Sysprep from the run. Then click on Sysprep. Make sure to active generalize, then select the shutdown and press OK. As I told you, because I used Visual Machine as a client, I must set the boot from the network in the BIOS. After setting that, client machine will be boot from the network. You can see here we have a two boot option, normal boot and capture boot. The normal boot is the boot image that we create in the part 1 of WDS and capture boot is the image that we created in this video to capture the windows image. If you don't see part one of this video, you can go to my channel and find that. Select capture boot and press enter. Volume to capture is the drive that Windows installed on that volume. Give the name and description, then click on the next. You can save the image file on the client's local disk 
and then transfer to the WDS manually or during the capture the image upload to the WDS. To do this, write the IP address of the WDS and then click on the connect. Give the credential and select OK. Also, we have to set a location on the client's hard disk to store the captured image. Give the some name to the captured image and click on the OK. If the credential is correct, you can see the image group from the list and after selecting the image group, click on the next to start capturing installed windows. How long the capture process takes depends on your client's PC resources. Under the install image, select image group 1. You can see the windows with application image placed here. And if you boot the clients and select this image during the windows installation, you can install a clone of the windows on other clients easily. At this time, I'm going to boot the client from the network again to check what happened during the installation. Now I am going to use Microsoft Windows setup option and after that we can install the windows. Click on next, give the credential. You can see windows with application image appears here and if you select this image and click on the next you can install customized version of windows easily. Also if you don't need to use capture image again you can right click on that and disable this to doesn't appear in the boot menu option. I hope this video can help the system administrators to deploy customized Windows image to clients from the network. And don't forget to subscribe my channel to motivate me to create other videos. Have a good day. Bye bye.